Hello all and it's quick five. Welcome to matter and chemical formulae continuation. In the previous video, we looked upon some pages of matter, what is matter and different states of matter in which I told you more about other different states of matter, which are also known as modern states, modern or yeah, modern states, modern states. Today, we are going to look into the composition of matter. What is matter made up of? You might have noticed, you might be saying that it is made up of molecules, but yes, there's something even, even, even greater than molecules. Yes, it's all some scientific term, which you might have like have some confusion in it, might not know it, but Today's topic is atom. Yes, what is an atom? You might have noticed when I was explaining in the first video about matter, I told you about molecules. And what does it have? What is the connection between molecules, atom, matter? I'll explain it just now. No need to keep it waiting for next video. Yes, yeah, so the connection between these three are that first of all, you might have noticed in higher, uh, like in a order, like what do you call it, Hierar hierarchical order, yes, hierarchical order, in that order, it's gonna go from the smallest particle, the smallest particle which has its own significance, or the smallest thing which has its own substance significance, which can live, is which can, which can like be alone and have a separate identity is atom, yes. Atom and many atoms were same or different atoms, form combined together to form molecules and that molecules those molecules combined together to form state uh, matter or yeah matter molecules form come to come together to form matter and atom matter let's read the definition matter is made of tiny particles not visible to eyes called atoms yes they are not visible to eyes they are the basic building blocks of any substance any substance the notebook which you are reading, this computer, the everything, even R, even the plants, even us, everything is made of matter, uh, matter um, atoms, mat, atoms. They are the basic building blocks of any substance. Every matter is made of atoms. Every matter, any matter is made of atoms. It is necessary for it to have atoms, else it is not matter. An atom is made of smaller particles called subatomic particles, electrons, protons, neutrons. Electrons carry a negative charge, protons carry a positive charge, neutrons carry a neutral charge. In batteries, you might have noticed it is plus and negative. That's basically the charge. And here it is like, you might be doing some integers calculation in maths. And in that, it is like one minus one plus minus one, one plus negative one equals to zero, the same thing it is here. Because if you add one positive, if in an atom there is one positive atom, but if it is not there, but if it is one protons and one electrons, you will get no charge, it will be zero. If the electrons is more, electrons are more, it will be minus. And if the protons are more, it will be mm, positive, yes. There can be a question that what is the charge on this atom? If the atom has, for example, six electrons and seven protons. Neutrons, they won't ask because first of all, neutrons have neutral state and moreover, most of them are similar, name number are same, number is same to the protons. Only electrons and protons are considered, but still there are three subatomic particles. So the charge of that will be plus one. Yes, plus one. And how can we view the subatomic particles? You might be wondering about that. And the answer is that we cannot view them by a normal microscope also. Uh, atoms are so small, they need something called, it's another microscope, electron microscope, yes. Proton size is bigger than electrons, but equal to neutrons. In this diagram, it's the, it's one of the diagrams of an atom. It's one of the best representations you can draw in an exam when it's asked to draw a diagram of an atom, subatomic particles. 
this is a diagram if you want you can also do one thing you can uh, make paper strips or take bangles or something you can use them and make uh, an atom yes you can make an atom through toothpicks or something you can use them to make an atom and clear your concepts there will be there will be an activity in this which i will do later when we understand more about elements elements for another day okay not now protein size is a uh, proton size is bigger but electrons but equal to neutrons these two size equal and electrons atom is divided into two parts nucleus and an orbit orbit there might be one or two orbits and there's only one nucleus like the brain or the center point what electrons do orbit electrons are present in the orbit and the nucleus in the this is the nucleus don't consider this but this is the nucleus this might be the second orbit the first orbit and this might be the second orbit this is a nucleus and in nucleus neutrons and protons are present what electron electrons do they move in a fast speed so they basically move in a fast speed round 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 binding the neutrons and protons and everything together and make it stable if one atom is uh, electron is lost then the atom will be unstable and it won't be an atom yes an atom can lose gain share its electrons yes it can also lose gain or share its electrons an ion is a charged particle formed from an ion atom by the loss or gain of an electrons of electrons this again i won't be going into that depth it's only for grade 7 and that is all for grade 7 and just to understand just memorize memorize understand the definition of an ion what is an ion thank you everyone if you have any queries suggestions or even questions regarding this topic you can clear it up you can send us a mail at quick5ytb@gmail.com we will be quick to response and thank you everyone for watching today's video I'm sure many of you might have not understand a bit about that iron part, but that's all for now because it's for grade seven only, not grade seven only, but yeah, grade seven in higher high in higher classes video we'll be explaining more about what is an iron and we'll be going in depth of everything, everything. So thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon. If you want, you can comment also about any other suggestions there, except for the mail. There are two options. And make sure you share these videos with your friend and hope you all enjoy. <clears throat> so thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. Happy learning. Enjoy learning. Thank you.